and let's uh, just take a few moments to reflect on the price paid by New Zealand and the contribution made by New Zealand. I'm very pleased to say that the Governor General, Jerry Matapari, joins me. Very good morning to you. Morning. Thank you so much. And a small country, a small population, and yet still a significant contribution. Absolutely, and it had a devastating effect on the communities and on our society as well. You know, over 100,000 men left, thousands of women also you know, served um, our country, and then 50, 50%, 58% 50 of them you know, were, were casualtied or, or, or killed. So a huge, huge impact. And, and we've been hearing already this morning the, the number of countries, and I think this applies to New Zealand as well, who, who reacted so swiftly to the call. That, that didn't seem to be a, a hesitation. What, what, what drove that, in, in your opinion? I think there was a connection to you know, the mother country. The majority of our European males were of British extraction. However, the majority of the men who signed up were actually born in New Zealand. But there was a very strong association with England, Scotland, Ireland and, and Wales. The other thing too to remember is that we had 2,200 Māori, 500 Pacific Islanders who signed up and, and came across. Initially there was no conscription. Conscription in New Zealand was from about uh, 1916, but it, you know, the impact again on every community uh, was quite devastating. And so much taking place in Europe today, of course, to mark the centenary. What will be happening in New Zealand itself? Well, already there's been a reenactment of my predecessor's announcement on the steps of Parliament that New Zealand was together with um, Britain at war. So that's already been done. And, and Lord Liverpool read the proclamation uh, in 1914. And so that's been done today. Throughout the next four or five years, in fact, right through to armistice and, and then to the Treaty of Versailles, uh, there are poignant moments for us. Gallipoli next year. After that, there's the Western Front. There are issues about you know our our performance in the in the um, in the Sinai as well. The other thing too, for us, in on the 29th of August 1914, we were one of the first to uh, capture or occupy a German territory in. Uh, so lots of poignant things for us. And I think the other thing too is that you know, every family just about was connected in some way with that war. Uh, and you say every family. You mentioned Gallipoli. You lost your own family members at Gallipoli. Uh, well, I lost a family member and he's in, uh, at Meningate. My grandfather fought at uh, Gallipoli and you know, thankfully he returned home. Um, he was wounded in Gallipoli, he was also wounded on the Western Front and, and gassed on the Western Front. So you know, that's the impact um, you know, right across New Zealand. Governor General, it's very good of you to come and talk to us. I know we have to let you go into the service. Thank you so much for being with us here on the BBC. We do appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much.